Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 799. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 797 to 800, click on the link below the video. In this video here, we have a table, and we need to transpose it, and it needs to be linked. So if I change anything here, I need it to change down here. Now, what does transpose mean? Uh, these, in essence, are row headers. I need those to become column headers. I need the column headers up here to become row headers. W still, one further requirement for this is I, blanks will show up down here if we use the transpose function as zeros. And we don't want them to show up as blanks. In essence, we want them to show up as little dashes. All right? And by the way, this is how it should work. If I change this to that, you can see that it shows up here, but transpose. Now I'm going to Control-Z. So this is our end result. No problem. This is a pretty straightforward. One thing, though, is if I want the format transposed, I'm actually, before I do our formula, because we want them linked, I'm going to copy this, click right here, and then do transpose format only. Up here, uh, paste special. And then I say formats right there and transpose. And then click OK. So there's the format transpose. Now, in order to transpose, you have to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 columns. That means there needs to be 6 rows here. And 1, 2, 3, 4 rows, you need to highlight 4 columns. Well, when I transpose formats, it automatically highlights it for me. If you didn't transpose the formats, then you'd have to select this range. Now, our formula is quite easy. We just use, there's a transpose function. I simply highlight. Now, notice this is unusual in that we're highlighting everything in advance, all the cells, and that's a requirement of a this transpose array function. I simply highlight. I don't even have to lock it. I don't even have to put that closed parenthesis, but I do have to give it a special uh, keystroke to enter this in. I have to hold Control and Shift together and then hit Enter. Now, you can see the problem with straight transpose is we, we have zeros here, and that's not what we want. Uh, now, we could, yeah, so we don't want the zeros. We want a little double uh, dash. So I'm going to hit F2 to put the top cell in edit mode. And in essence, what we need to tell this range is if anything in here is blank, then please give me double a double dash. Otherwise, just keep what's ever there. The if function is perfect for that. If function is not just for single cells, it also can work on, work on arrays. So I have equals if and then a range for our logical test. So I'm going to say equals double quote. Anything in there equal to double quote, that's a logical test. If you highlight this and hit the F9 key, F9 key on my uh, video recorder turns uh, pauses the video. So I'm going to use this uh, calculate button over there. You can see it gives me true, false, false, etc. Control Z. That's different, right? Because usually we put a single true or false there, but now there's a bunch. No problem. If can handle that perfectly. Comma, value of true. Well, what if it is blank? What do I want? Then please put in double quotes, dash, dash, and double quote. Comma, well, value of false. Then I just simply highlight this range again. It will put only a dash where it sees a empty cell. Close parentheses, uh, and then Control Shift Enter. And now I have exactly what I want. I've done, in essence, a transpose if. So if I change this to um, this job is now done, and then I see a done right there. All right, uh, we'll see you next trick.